What's going on everybody, it's Carlos here once again with another unboxing video, another video that I've been looking forward to for quite some time. But unfortunately, it took a long time to get here. But besides that, I'll get into that in another video. This is just gonna be a simple unboxing of the Rove Pro from Rhino. Been looking forward to getting this thing. It's finally here. Let's unbox it, see what it comes with, and go from there. So we have the Rove Pro. Yes, I've been looking for a motorized slider for years now, but be honest, most of these motorized sliders are super expensive. And with that comes the ability not to be able to get something like that. Um, because obviously when you get a slider, you're not gonna use it for every shot. So I couldn't justify in my head the price versus how many times I was gonna use it, especially when you're just doing a few unboxings and stuff. So they finally came out with this awesome product um, and it looks awesome and it's it's really plug and play when it comes to the functionality of it. I'm babbling on. Let's open this thing up. Nice. So obviously it's right here and uh, make sure that there's nothing else in here. Nope, nothing else in here. So I'll put this aside over here and I'll take this guy out. Okay, oh, I was gonna get a little upset for a second. But as you see, we have more contents in here. We have the ball head. This is huge. Um, the Rove Pro obviously comes with the ball head because it's meant more for your DSLR videos um, or DSLR cameras or SLR cameras. So we have the ball head here, but it, they also included this bad boy, which is for your phone. Again, I don't do much phone cinematography, so. And then we have a wall wart here. If you're in the European markets, you get a few of these. So that's nice. They include three different ones, so you can definitely have your choice to pick from. We have here a micro USB. So that's nice. So this is it right here. It's the Rose slider and um, it's really compact. I love the finish that this thing brings. It has a very Apple feel, especially when unboxing this whole thing. Um, just inspecting it just looks like a really high quality product. And most people know Rhino sliders are really high quality, which is great. This is the Rode Pro Traveler, which is I believe the biggest model they have. I believe it gives you about 16 inches of travel. Um, they have a smaller version, which gives you half of it. It's uh, eight inches. Here are the feet. So you unlock it here and then you lock it back. So it's good. They got some nice adjustable legs here. All right, so let's take a look over here and you can see where they have the actual charging port connect. So. Here you have where the USB cable goes to. Here's the power button. Let's see if it does anything. And it already comes with almost a full charge, which is nice. And then uh, that's it. It's really simple. Also, you can see on the legs, it actually gives you a perfect indication lining them up. You know, if you line these legs up with that little notch, which line up the two notches right there. You're good to go. So, so for me, I'm going to take off this mount right here. So you simply just screw the top off this one and you're all set. So that's how this looks. So what I'm going to do now is uh, go through the set it up and then I'll come back and uh, let you know how easy it was and a few things that you had to do when it comes to setting it up. Okay. Since you guys last seen me, I actually have had uh, a chance to use this for, I don't know, maybe a week and a half or so. Uh, but I'm just gonna give you my initial impressions overall because my final review of this product will be out in a few weeks once I really got a chance to use it more in depth. It has a great app, which I'll show you right here and um, just show you how it works. So 
I have my A6300 filming it so you can see it moving from side to side. I have my um, Tamron 28-275 f2.8 set at f2.8. So those are the settings. So let's go and start. Again, my initial uh, review or my initial thoughts of this product right now are right now. So my uh, full on review will be later on. And that's when we'll go over the app as well. Right now you can see it's moving at a nice pace. If I stay quiet for a little bit, you can't even hear the motors. Now, initially, as I started playing with this app, it probably took me 20 minutes to really figure out exactly how this uh, app works. It's really user friendly. When I say 20 minutes, I mean, literally, it was just me trying to figure out the settings, but it's not a hard, um, it's not a hard app to, to actually use. It has a live motion, which is what you see right now. And it also has a time-lapse function. Now, I will say this, with the time lapse function, there is an extra cord that you can buy from them, but I actually bought my cord, which connects to the Sony camera, um, which is this cord right here. And um, it has a spot onto the actual slider itself, uh, where when you connect it with the, it looks like a 3.5 millimeter jack, and then you connect this into your actual uh, camera, that's where the app now is able to control time-lapse feature with it. So you want to get this cable. I'm going to leave a link down below. Trust me with this cable, you can do much more um, than when with just the regular app. Uh, and it's only maybe five to 10 bucks, this cable. Again, I said, I'll leave it down below. As you see, it's moving from side to side really smoothly. You, can, you can't even hear it at this pace. Um, and you can ha obviously have it on a loop, which is really cool. Again, the app will be more detailed explanation on my uh, full review, but as you see, it just functions really good. It's a, at this point, to me, it's an outstanding slider for the money. I've been looking for a motorized slider. The only things it's lacking, for my opinion, is that they, if they can find a way to add some movement with the ball head somehow, if there's an uh, adapter or another um, functionality they can add to it where you can get some pan and tilts as it's moving side to side would be amazing. Um, I think that's the only thing that this thing needs for right now for my initial impression and just using it <clears throat> this last two weeks or so. So guys, hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up let me know in the comments what you would like to see in the full review and uh, I'll get to it as soon as I can. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel for that video and I will see you around. It's a really good app.